I, I'm not sure the government really understands the whole the good thing and bad thing of a fourth industrial revolution. But I think they took it more as the industrial 4.0, where government, uh, the German government, uh, proposed a few years ago as the how to promote their industrial, you know, the efficiency. So uh, they embraced it pretty fast, and that they opened up a fourth industrial revolution committee in government in the 2017, and uh, recently they also. Um, uh, they called it uh, the human-centered uh, force in this revolution. Uh, it sounds pretty good, but then there is uh, some uh, good side or bad side of it uh, in terms of the conceptual maturity. I'll talk about this soon. And uh, also, in very recently, actually this week, uh, our government also announced that they're going to uh, have a huge uh, funding uh, program to in improve, to introduce the uh, force in this revolution. They call it um, a... Uh, the uh, I Korea 4.0 program, and uh, the, over the next five years, they're going to um, invest uh, two billion dollars. I think it kind of uh, overshadowed by the numbers I just heard us uh, like 30 minutes ago. But then um, that's uh, the government's uh, funding, and uh, also they nurtured uh, science and industry, and uh, raised a lot of uh, AI experts in the in the related area, and uh, uh, construct a lot of uh, data set. They, it's kind of interesting. They have a very specific number for this data set, 160 million data set. I don't know exactly where they are from coming from. But um, uh, the, our government's uh, approach is to, in AI and is uh, how to uh, make the Korean um, competitiveness in this area better. So it's more of the industrial uh, booming approach. So it is a uh, government driven, like many Asian countries, uh, where the fundamentals of the AI science and theories, academia is a kind of a thin. So uh, the Korea has to try to nurture this by injecting the, pumping the government fund into it. <coughs> and, uh, and also the, uh, this is, uh, uh, they don't really know, they don't really have a very good plan how to uh, integrate this AI's outcome into the various level of a society. For example, can we make our society more efficient, more you know, intelligent, for example? using many kind of uh, the AI inventions. Uh, I don't really see too many of it uh, because it's uh, like uh, many uh, uh, Asian countries, uh, it is a typical thing happening in the centralized government. The approach here in Korea or like many other countries uh, over there is that uh, can you do this? So when you have this question is that the answer is goes like uh, we cannot do that because there is no law for it to make us do it. It's like different from the we can do it because there is no law for it. So in our country, the other way around, there is no law law, so we cannot do it. So this kind of a, a problem happens with the latest uh, disrupting technologies like uh, Uber, you know, when Uber comes in and then um, many existing taxi companies are very, very uh, not happy about it. And that also poses a problem because of the nature of AI is very disruptive. And also um, in the, the other problem is that um, uh, there is a, the job loss problem. So we, our government uh, says uh, they do a human-centered uh, force in the revolution, but um, it's kind of a uh, interesting conflict concept there because the very reason the World Economic Forum uh, mentioned for in industrial revolution is that uh, it involves the job displacement because the AI replaces the human mind. So that we, you know, but although the AI right now is not matching human level of intelligence, but we don't need that to replace the job because many of the typical uh, factory floor job requires a simple vision processing with simple manual operation. So that kind of a job can be very easily uh, replaced by AI. So um, uh, there's not a very good plan going on right now. So for, to, to get prepared for this, we need to adjust the education. We need to adjust the uh, labor market. And uh, we need to adjust, for example, I think that this, uh, Autonomous car will be a very good uh, showcase for this. Uh, with autonomous cars, uh, we are trying to introduce, and the government has a very good program to allow us to test our car on the street. But um, autonomous cars, uh, we believe it's useful because it drives better than human. So that if I uh, expand that, uh, that argument to the military system, then the human soldiers can be replaced by autonomous system because they are better the human, human operator. So this is, has a huge implication because that's the reason we have uh, annual meetings here in UNOG for that. And uh, 
But for machine, autonomous cars uh, turning the wheel left and right is just the same as uh, to search and destroy the target in left or right. So it's the very same problem for machine. So the autonomous car, how to embrace it into the society is a very good uh, showcase of uh, how we deal with the AI the technology over there. So in Korea, we have a very um, ide ideological charged uh, labors, labor unions. So any changes, especially with AI, when it means a displacement, uh, it's going to be very difficult to persuade them. I had a personal talk with a taxi uh, owner company, the, the owner of the company, and then he was very, very nervous of the the future change when the autonomous cars really come along, but um, uh, they had no plan whatsoever about that. So uh, they, so in this case, we need to plan ahead for education. But the problem is that um, this kind of AI problem is that uh, it really happens very fast, and even the experts have a different opinions and how it goes in next to 10, 20 years. Uh, in order for us to get prepared, we need uh, 10, 20 years of the time, but um, we even know what's going to happen. For example, uh, cell phone, the, the smartphone, it introduced in 2007 in Apple, and uh, now it changes our lives completely, but um, just before 10 years in 2007, which is the 1997, no one expected the smartphone coming out. And uh, so, so AI just uh, ha happened like uh, in the early 2010s, and then we don't know what's going to happen in 10 years, so yet we have to be prepared for all the education, the job market, tech systems, and ethics and laws and all that. So we are uh, throwing punches in the dark right now. So it's kind of very difficult. And so even technology people have difficulties, government have more difficulty. So um, this is a, in the more the centralized government countries like Korea, uh, we have a difficulty because uh, that's the reason I think that he discussed. The uh, government has to be uh, thinking very hard, but um, Again, when it involves a lot of large job displacement uh, from people, and then any kind of a democratic country, uh, com countries with the elections, uh, when you, you have involves a lot of uh, job displacement, then that means you're losing uh, votes. So the government uh, has a very difficult situation, and uh, many times uh, this kind of situations, governments act for a, a populist kind of a direction. So that's a uh, uh, sometimes not good for social, you know, social benefit, uh, social ide ideal direction. So that's the problem. So, um, uh, so uh, like I said, uh, we have to be prepared in the difficulty of understanding what's going to happen with all the very ha fast developing AI. Even the expert doesn't know how to, how it goes. Yet we have to be prepared. So we have to uh, discuss more, having more discussions.